Hey, what's up guys? My name's Chris Winter and today I'm gonna to test out the autofocus on the Canon 70D versus the brand new Canon T6S. So the Canon 70D has long been known as one of the best autofocusing DSLRs around with its fantastic dual pixel autofocus system. But we do have a new challenger now, the Canon T6S and T6i, which has brought in that new hybrid autofocusing system. Now I'd just like to say a big thanks to Brenton over at Shutterhub for letting me rent out the Canon T6S for this test. And guys, if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe because I'm actually gonna be giving away a T6S to a subscriber, so hit that subscribe button to enter. Anyway, let's test out these two cameras. Okay, to start off with, I'm gonna test out how quickly and smoothly both of these cameras work in spot focus mode. This essentially means that whatever's in this little square right here on the back of your LCD should come into focus quickly and smoothly. Okay, for this test, I'm gonna have an 18 to 55 STM on the Canon T6S and the 18 to 135 on the Canon 70D. Uh, both of them are STM lenses and they both are pretty similar in autofocus ability. I'll also be shooting at 55 millimeters, uh, the end length on this one, and on 55 millimeters on this one, and we'll be shooting at F5, just to make it all pretty fair. Okay, so let's start off this test using the Canon T6S and we'll see just how quickly it can focus on these vintage cameras. So it seems to be relatively smooth. It does have a little bit of trouble sometimes, but definitely a massive improvement over the Canon T5i. There's really no hunting that was uh, apparent in the T5i. It does struggle a little bit if it doesn't exactly know where you want it to focus, so you need to generally pick a pretty contrasty spot, but it's definitely an improvement. It's a lot faster than the T5i. Okay, so we've got the Canon 70D right here and we'll do the exact same test. Again, shooting at 55 millimeters. Yeah, as you can see, the Canon 70D has absolutely no trouble with this at all. Doesn't do any hunting at all. It knows exactly where you want it to be. It's very quick and very smooth. Hey guys, if you'd like me to do a full-on in-depth comparison between the Canon T6S and the 70D, let me know by leaving a thumbs up on this video and I'll make sure to really test them out and you know, put them to their test. Anyway, let's get on to the next autofocus test. Next up, I'm gonna test out how these cameras work using the touchscreen to pull focus. Now this is a little bit of a tricky task for me because I'm actually using one camera to film me, one camera to pull focus here, and one camera to film it all. So, uh, we'll see just how well it works out. But we're going to start off with the Canon 70D and we'll see just how well it can pull focus using the touchscreen. Apologies if I go out of focus or out of frame here, but we'll just see if we can do this pretty well. So we're going to start off with the Canon 70D. And as you can see, when I touch the screen, whatever I do goes in and out of focus very well. Doing this manually is actually quite difficult because you need to know the exact point at which each item will be in focus by twisting the actual focus ring. And using it with your finger like this just works so well on the Canon 70D. Okay, so now we've got the T6S here in the same position. We'll do the same test again. Just pressing on where we want it to be in focus. And again, it's working really quite well. This is a massive improvement over the T5i. It is really working quite well. In fact, I've got to say that the T6S here is pretty much on par with the Canon 70D. So in terms of using the touch screen to pull focus, it's a tie. So good work, T6S. Now we're gonna jump back over to the still photography side and test out how fast these cameras focus uh, in live view mode. So we'll start off with the T6S. It's in aperture priority mode, but we've got the live view on. And what we'll do is test it out to see just how quick it can pull focus with that live view on. It really is just so quick doing this. Just jumping from one to the other, no hunting. Oh, lost it a little bit there. That is very, very impressive. They've done a huge improvement right there. I remember using the, uh, the Canon T5i in autofocus mode with live view on and it was terrible. So that is a big improvement. Let's test out the Canon 70D now. 
Okay, so let's test it out with the Canon 70D right now. What I'll do is throw it over to stills mode and then put it into live view mode. And we'll see just how well it works. It seems to be working pretty well. If anything, it's a little bit slower than the T6S, but not by a lot. Both of these cameras now work really quite well. Oh, and then I'm taking a shot. <laughs> Both of these cameras work really quite well in live view mode these days. And you know, I know a lot of professional photographers won't really care about this, but when you're just getting into starting photography, a lot of people like to use that live screen because it's quite similar to you know, using a, uh, an iPhone or something like that. So it's a nice feature to have. Both of them work well, but I'm gonna have to give this one to the Canon T6S. Okay, so right now we're gonna test out the face tracking on the Canon 70D and the T6S to see which one can keep me in focus better just by picking up my face. Now, uh, I've got the Canon 18 to 135 on here, and I do know already that the Canon 70D does work very, very well with this because I've done quite a few tests on it before. But anyway, let's test it out and see just how well the T6S compares. So what I'll do is jump over to my Canon 70D, and as you can see, my face is in focus right now. And with these STM motors, I know that this works really quite well. I'll move back and forth, see if it can pick me up. I'm a big fan of using face tracking on the Canon 70D. I use it for pretty much all of my tests. I'll run back a little bit further, a bit faster. As you can see, it's absolutely having no problems whatsoever. The Canon 70D has always been a very, very good performer with face tracking mode. So let's test out the Canon T6S now. I'll just throw it on the tripod and we'll see just how good it can perform. Okay, so right now we are on the Canon T6S and we're gonna test out how this works to keep me uh, in focus with face tracking. So I wouldn't expect this to be as good as the Canon 70D because that one has that dual pixel autofocus, but hopefully it can do a half decent job. Again, I'm pretty much in the same uh, position moving back and forth. You can see that it's a little bit slower but it does seem to be working pretty well. So I mean, if you do want the best face tracking performance, I'd probably go with the Canon 70D. But if you are looking for something that will work most of the time uh, and work a little bit slower, but still be able to keep you in focus like when, I'm, when you're kind of here, uh, the T6S should be a good performer, but the Canon 70D definitely wins. Uh, as you can see on the screen, I've actually made a few different videos on the Canon T6i and the T6S, some uh, video tests, some autofocus tests, lots of different things. So if you want to check them out, all you need to do is click the links on the screen and that'll take you to the video. And also make sure to check out the top 10 list of uh, best lenses for the Canon T6i that I made because I'm sure that you'll get something out of it and it'll be interesting to see what comes out on top. Okay guys, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.